Hello, my name is Xavier and welcome to a new Warcraft video about Legion. This time, let's speak about the Yama Hunter in Legion. Let's speak about the talents and spells and artifact talents that the Demon Hunter is gonna have in the coming expansion of Legion and right now is in Alpha, Beta, whatever you're gonna call it. Before we're gonna start, let's just jump to the disclaimer. Remember, the old content in this video is suggested to change for this coming expansion of Legion. Maybe or all of that is gonna change even before the expansion launch. Bear in mind that all content I released here is to keep you in notice of what is the news about Legion. If you don't want any of this information, do the video right now and thanks for watching. I hope to have you the next time. For those that stay, let's jump very quickly to the Chogol Mania in Twitter because today was the last chance to get shown off. Or maybe, maybe, maybe we we're looking for gnomes or gnomes hunter all these years and now it's happened. Maybe. Hello, and the tweets for today is from Hero of the Store. In Hero of the Store, the Friday, they give you Shogol. If you watch the final of the Dream Hat, having your Twitch account linked to Battle.net. Today, they're gonna add that option to, I don't know, they say Dream Hat is over, but the gear awaits continue. Your last chance to get the cool. Shout all tonight, and they give you a link. I can click that link after this, but this is awesome because they add in this new Tyus hero, the first co op hero in any MOBA. I played a little one of this, and uh, yes, it's awesome! It's awesome, awesome, awesome! It's very good to know. That is coming, the Shogol virus. Okay, now let's jump to the Demo Hunter. Now we are here with the Demo Hunter. The last clip was clear. Right now we are continuing. The Demo Hunter has incomplete talent right now, and does not have any talent in PvP. But let's talk about what the spell they have and some mechanics. In the meantime, they have talents. But before I start speaking about the Talibus Demo Hunter, let's check out what the spell they have. They have a new ability in the build, but it's not actually in the alpha build. That means the player can use it, but it's in the core build. The most secure is during this phase of alpha, is they're gonna load in a new build, it's gonna update this one and makes those change. Fear and Moss. One of the ability is this. This is the first defensive, full defensive skill for the Demo Hunter that is defensive offensive. Increase your dodge chance in 50% and allow you to dodge a spell and range attack. Is most devastating that the Cloak of Shadows and evasion because let's see uh, spell and range attack for three seconds you say oh it's just three seconds one minute cooldown remember evasion is not one minute cooldown is two or three minute cooldown yeah you have preparation but no oro have preparation right now that is something and let's continue reading Dealing direct damage to any target, refresh the duration up to a maximum total of 10 seconds. Refresh the duration. That means I attacking is gonna have 3 seconds. Until maximum prolong it to the 10 seconds. Always gonna be 10 seconds maximum. That means I attack 5 times, I gonna refresh it until it's completely 10 seconds. 10 seconds was 50% of dodge, spell, and range, and normal dodge, because it's 
more dodge, and it's allow your dodge to be two spells, and range is awesome, it's extremely powerful, and it's only one minute cooldown. That means is every 15 seconds you're gonna dodge a lot. Okay, now let's go to Chaos Nova. Some people in the Alpha is picking this spell and putting in the bar, but it's not working because it's not implemented yet. It's just a placeholder. Unless I rook of fell energy, cause Terry Fury. Uh, Blur is not cause Fury. Yes, it's not cause Fury. Unless Oracle's felt energy, stunning all nearby enemies for 5 seconds and daily, daily 250% of attack power as Chaos damage. That means it's increased with the mastery. Right now i checking its Havoc. Um, but we're gonna speak about Havoc and Vengeance in this video. This video is gonna be a little long because it's the Demo Hunter, my future main on the expansion of Legion and maybe to all rest of World Warcraft Lifetime because I like this thematic more than the other classes. I always like Battle Mage. It's the reason I I love my my me my shaman enhancement right now. I always like that lifestyle of Battle Mage. And this is a rose battle mage. It's much better. Shall strike the passive uh, Okay, it's something I earlier love. Child Strike. It's like your target for 125% of maybe weapon damage plus 600. I don't understand that mathematic, but. Uh, because when you see that kind, why not 700? No, because. They're gonna give you this multiplier is gonna fetch. For example, one is gonna baseline and another one is gonna be when you have both. For that reason, it's splinted into different numbers because when you're adding a buff or cooldowns or trinket prod or something that increases damage, this is not gonna be super escalated. It's gonna be escalated according to a mathematic algorithm. It's something very complicated, but I don't understand what is exactly the portions because let's say weapon or attack power. Maybe it can be a weapon plus attack power. That can be the another option. A shell damage. And critical strike do not consume fury. That means a critical strike with shell strike. I I can use a second shell strike. The shell strike for one. And see is that second shell strike is critical strike? It's gonna be another three chance trying in the row. The most important is remember, all agility class they have ten percent of extra critical strike rating. That means they always gonna have ten percent more critical strike chance than all another DPS. That is fair druids, enchanting Hammond, hunters, and uh, rogues, and demo hunter now. Consume magic, this is the best interrupt in the game for my taste, because it's so thematic. Interrupt an enemy spell casting, locking them for 3 seconds in that school of magic. But the most important thing is generate full fury when you safely interrupt something. That means literally you're consuming the magic, I interrupt you and gain fury. Well, energy of power, that is so good. And uh, this is passive. Stop, that is not working. Demo bite. This is very important because we're gonna check the talent after reading all these spells. Demo Fury is your basic generator. It's gonna do 250% of physical damage. It's a lot of damage for a generator, but it's physical damage. Um, generate. 20 to 30 fury that give you some gimmick is, is not gonna be the same all time, this importation all time. It's, it's very good that they added this little thing because if they are fixing amount 
Oh, it's going to the mobile. It's gonna be one. One. Charles try. It's gonna be that way. And that is a little boring. For that reason, it's okay. It's not the 20, it's 30. You can, you can use more. You can have 3 in 1. And having 20. Oh, wow, you have more. You know, different behavior. Double jump is, you know, you double jump. Uh, Iving. This is the most hard hitting skill in all the game. If you're thinking careful. I think it's some spell are hitting the shot, the demo ball of the Demonary Warlock is the only thing hit more harder. Is the only thing in the game hit more harder. And the Charles Bolt. Charles Bolt and the Execute are the thing hit more harder than this. And the super crazy star surge for the mountain where you have all props on all the stuff. That is another stuff. Because blasting enemy directly in front of you is gonna be a little come to 20 yards and hit for 170 forcing us at a power nine times for nine nine times that damage that is a lot of damage over some two seconds say that two seconds that is awesome and a lot of sudden is increased this and we're gonna see that fair rush Bruce forward incinerate any and any uh, anything in your path doing 250 attack power as fire. This is a different gimmick, it's fire. Have to charge 10 seconds recharge. It's the first you saw in, in all that videos for Demo Hunter. It's uh, like that. Is that the same? Glide. This is new for this build and the bliss, uh, the blissful one. Why I'm thinking about this is gonna be awesome, it's gonna have a lot of mobility and that means Demo Hunter Engineer is not such a good idea when you're thinking about it. Maybe for the boots that give you some spray and but I don't know. It's not look like if Demo Hunter is gonna be very appealing to use in garage because you have everything. Everything for mobility of course. Mastery, demonic present, increase the child's damage by 8% and your movement speed by 8%. Uh, I'm gonna stop you right there because I know you're gonna say you silly stuff. Now I'm gonna stack Mastery a room more faster and running for flats. I uh, know because in PvP for the current moment, you can manage your stats in the gear. The stats in the gear in PvP environment and PvP combat is gonna be determined by your speed and the balance team according to your item level. That means all demo hunters that have the same item level is gonna have the same amount of mastery. That means Nobody can stack any stats for PvP. PvP, of course, but PvP, no. For the moment, that can change. But for the moment, they say no. PvP, the gear is gonna be only item levels, and according to this item level, is gonna determine the power of the stat or your spat in PvP. It's very confusing. No, it's simple. Is they gonna give you all the hunters gonna have the same stack distribution because it's competitive. You have another stuff to manage. They want to avoid the stacking stats like right now always stacking mastery for some classes. Mastery, 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 and that is not the way it's intended. Now let's jump to metamorphosis. This has a very, 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 very change because in the BlizzCon build it was 10 minute cooldown. People freak out, 6 minute cooldown. It's the same overall, 3 seconds stun, chance of damage, you're gonna jump into the air, 
the jumps a little closer right now. And, well, a little closer, you're not gonna jump so high, but depending, because I not saw any Demon Hunter using in a long distance. Um, but, it's 40 yard range, that thing is, can be jumping very high, we don't know. Because that people is playing on right now in the Alpha are silly. Upon landing is you're gonna be transformed, you're gonna be metamorphosis for 10, 20, 10, 30 seconds. Empower your demo by and Chao strike abilities. This is a big change. In the BlizzCon build you gain Lich and another stuff, Lich and more fury. Now it's gonna change your basic spender and you pass it generator to a few more powerful spells. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna continue having the Lich. Maybe the Lich is gonna be coming in, in the talents. I hope so. Because that is the same as Hero of the Storm Illidan. Hero of the Storm Illidan reduce cooldown when he attack and have uh, return damage when he do damage. That is pretty cool. That is something that is for Illidans. I like it. Parry. You're gonna have parry with your demo hunter. People say, whoa, what that is important. Some melee class have no parry. Like the rogue? Rogue, I think, rogue, rogue, I think they have all parry. But, I don't know. No. The rogue have parry. I remember they have parry. I don't know if the druid have parry. The druid. I think the druid have no parry. They have dodge, but no parry. But I know secure. I think the rogue have parry because he's weapons. But the druid, I very secure. It's not having parry. Shatter soul. This is uh, gonna be our passive, but it's gonna be a very good gimmicky when we jump to the artifact weapon. When you kill a target, you gain the gang experience of honor. The target will sometimes, not all time, a lot of people in the alpha making their videos and say, when you kill a target, it's gonna drop a orb. No! 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 It's a chance when you kill a target. It's not all time. When you kill a target, it's gonna, the orb appear. It's a chance. Chance. Sometimes. Leave your fragment behind for 30 seconds. This fragment in consume is gonna heal you 25% of your total health. And the most important is when you're feeding in a soul of a demon, you're gonna gain 20% of the increased damage plus the trinker that we receive that in the mythic dungeons right now in life. It's gonna be to a total for 5 seconds or 30 percent of damage additional to demons. And this sounds pretty cool for some early content in the expansion. Because right now the two rays is not gonna be any demons there. Well, it's appearing, it's not gonna be any demons yet, only good then, something like that. And the ambassador, I think in the pal Superman Palace gonna have some demons, but the first one, the scenario stuff, I don't know, is, is it gonna have demon, but is it gonna be a lot of demon increased damage? And uh, yeah, it's gonna be very cool. Cool, cool, cool. Spectral side. Allow you to see enemies to and treasure to physical barrier, as well as enemies stilted from invisible. So many people think, oh, this is not gonna work in PP. Yes, it's gonna work in PvP. What is, is what is up wrong about this? A rogue and maze using a mechanic that is not allow you to see your enemy. What is wrong? A class has a mechanic to see anybody when they are using the mechanic. What is it gonna mean this? Okay, you are facing a rogue and druid and mage. Fine, you got some. They, they don't want to have the opener. But if you don't have the demo hunter, they always have opener. You see, they always have the upper hand. Um, 
when you're facing facing a warrior and decay, this is not help you nothing because they're not gonna stay behind and they're gonna not gonna be stealth, you're gonna have a useless skill when you're you know facing something that can be steal. You understand that? It's not any OP, it's normal, it's a counter spell for counter class. Drone Glaive. Drone Glaive. Drone a demonic glaive to the target dealing 300% of attack power as physical damage. The glaive can ricochet two additional enemies within, uh, within 10 yards. When you say ricochet, is doing full damage. Oh boy, that is my understanding. And half 10 second cooldown. It's very long, uh, low cooldown. Not long cooldown, low cooldown. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. I like it. Bender Full Retreat, now is baseline for the Olema Hunters. It's a visual assault, nearby enemies, and Battle Await is gonna have this, like, a disengage. And so the enemy taking 100 physical damage, that means weapon damage, and reduce their movement in 70%. 70%. It's good for 3 seconds. It's like disengage. That's okay. We are very close to the enemy, and we are not stopping for the skills. Demonic instance. This is a very important because read this. Reduce the global cooldown based on haste. It's not saying nothing about reduced cooldowns. It's say about reduce global cooldown. Okay. Easy. The demo hunter has another mechanics to reduce cooldowns. It's gonna be very interesting. It's, the haste is not that so demanding. It's gonna be helpful, but it's not gonna be so demanding for the demo hunter apparently. Now, we read all this spell for the Havoc. Um, yes, I'm gonna make another video for the Vengeance because it's very, very, very long. I just pick for the few talents that are available for Havoc. Because I think for Vengeance is not in Italian yet. Um, Fell Mastery. Increase the damage of Fell Rush in 50% and gain 25 Fury when your Fell Rush damage at least one target. That is most offensive. This is an offensive talent, it's very, very good. Blade Dance is 50 Fury. 50, 50 Fury. 12 second cooldowns, very low cooldown. Destroy all enemies for 150% plus 3 times your physical weapon damage. That was the only thing I understand there. And increase your dodge chance for 100% for a second. That means you're using lay down and for some reason you are in blue nobody can hit you for one second no spells no range gonna hit you when you are in fire's blade dance is for some reason blue is active because it's kind of demanding but it's fine blinding fury increase the duration of eye beam when they say increase the duration, that means it's gonna have an extra second. It's right now, two second channeling. An extra second is gonna mean more damage. It's gonna like increase damage with that duration, lightning fury. It's gonna be channeling too long, more long, more damage. Prepare, prepare. You are not prepared. Yes, I am prepared. After using your bell retreat, you gain. 96 fury over 6 seconds that is pretty good it's gonna make some very good setups right now it's one of the most strongest talent I see that is gonna work in PvE and PvP why I say PvE? okay the mobility what? because when we jump to the artifact weapon talent you don't understand Demo Blade, this changes what is the mechanic of the Demo Hunter. Instead of having a generator, you're gonna work like a warrior. 
you're out of that, you're gonna deal additional shock damage in replace of the damage you're losing because you don't have the demo, uh, demon barrier skill. But is your auto attack is gonna generate fury. That means is that your haste is gonna affect you better because it's gonna increase your fury generator. It's gonna change the mechanic of the gear distribution you're gonna have for PvE. Remember, for PvP, it's another story. Master of Glade. This is the first and most strong talent I see right now for the Demo Hunter in PvP and in PvE too. Why? Prepare give you extra a ton of fury, but it's every 25 seconds. But uh, Drone Glaive is every 10 seconds. Drone Glaive do additional 100% damage against enemies about 90% of health. And the cooldown is reduced 2 seconds x time deal damage. Remember, you ricochet that 2 times. That means 6 seconds. Every 4 seconds, if you're hitting 3 targets, it's gonna have Drone Glaive. And if you have an enemy healer, this is spamming healing, having all people the talk healing, talk health. Uh, it's gonna do a lot of damage in the starting fight. It's awesome. It's, it's, it's incredibly awesome. Because this is gonna give you way to the Demo Hunter state in RBGs, in fights. And in only fights in PvE, it's gonna be awesome too. Remember, in PvP, you're gonna have Spec Talents. PvP talents and artifact talents. Now the last talent, and when we jump to the artifact talent, we're gonna talk about the master clip again. So Randy, this is a, a sample talent when I say they wanna add in some stuff in the talent. Uh, so Randy, increase the leash 100% when you are in demo four. Okay. This is very different than say you have 100% of damage when you are uh, you are used you are in demo for during metamorphosis or say when you use metamorphosis. No, this is a demo for I being a skill actually transform you in your demo form. Yes, when you're using I being you transform in demo for this. Count as demo four, and when you're using your IV, you're gaining 100% of leech of the damage. Is that the case? Wow! Wow! I don't think so. I think this is gonna be for the metamorphosis, and is very big. The maybe not because it's a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot of the cooldown of IV. IV is very long cooldown, 45 seconds. We need to see, we need to see, but right now it's a little too strong. Cell healing is that the case is working in metamorphosis. Uh, in demo 4 from the I beam. Because it's gonna rely 100 healing every 45 seconds, it's not that OP. It's not that OP. Or maybe 200 every 45 seconds, it's not that OP. When you're thinking it's not that OP because First, you need hit targets. Of course, if you hit multiple targets, it's gonna be a ton of healing, maybe full health. But it's every 45 seconds, and you can be stunned and interrupt when you are well stunned, not interrupt. You can be stunned when you're using Ivy, because it's the cooldown is gonna link out very well with the stuns. Um, yeah, but in PVE, it's gonna be awesome because it's gonna help you a lot to survive. Maybe this next row is gonna have something with the survivality and cell healing. I hope so. That is gonna be in this row. Because this is looking very, very, very good. The idea of when you're using that skill that make you a demo form, you have the extra 100 leech. Um, yeah. Basically, it's, it's very good intention. Maybe the tuning numbers are gonna be different, but the intention that you are more careful to use this skill in the right mode. Now let's jump to the PvP talent. Like I said, the PvP talent are missing 
the exclusive for the demo hunter in general. But uh, we have this idea, we're gonna have this roll that it's the same different one, but it's gonna have in trade through. It's a good one. But not a good one for Demo Hunter, remember when you're a Demo Hunter you're gonna receive damage, you're gonna be melee. But with the amount of evasion or some stuff or in the starting of the fight, can be, can be. This train through is very is more useful as useful as use is more useful when you play a row, a druid, a mage. I think the most important is maybe it's gonna be this. Critical chance increase in 30% when your target is at about 80% of your total health. Why? Because this is gonna line up very good where you master of the glaive. Because you master of the glaive, you're gonna do more damage when the target is above the 90%. That means it's gonna have more chance of critical. And yet, why my quickness? Because right now, I not, I don't know. What is the importance or the way of the haze overall of the Mohunter? Right now, I, the only thing I know is reducing the global cooldown. And okay, that is good, but is I gonna try the tanning is change my demo buy for basic attack? I gonna run, run uh, I gonna run this these demo blades. Is I, I running demo blades? I gonna use, of course, my quickness because it's gonna increase my haze in quickness force and it's gonna be more haze, more, more fury. But in general, initiations is gonna be an option with the master of the glaive. It's pretty, pretty, very good. And um, now let's jump to the artifact. Is this the first one video have the artifact right away? These are long videos because I want to show you. Honestly, with all my heart, that I like this class and I like the game. Because I have very good ideas. The only thing I is a little shy. <laughs> so, let's continue. Okay, like I said the, the video when I speak a little about all the artifact weapons, I was all true about that. And this time, let's jump every talent. This a very amount time because I say this is gonna be my main of the expansion. Can I take all the time of the war and show you that some expectations are good because it's nobody who's gonna try the demo hunter until the demo hunter is a solid cat and all people is is testing or or stuff. Who's gonna give the feedback? Is anybody play the demo hunter? Who gonna give the feedback to improve the demo hunter? You need play the demo hunters. You like the thematic, the fantasy. It's not that have a hype or something like that. If you waiting that the demo hunter is good to play the class, come on, get out of my channel. You need to play first and most something you like in some regard, or maybe the style, the mechanic, something. But if you play that class because it's the most stronger class and this try as this class is not is not broken or something. Got another way what that lying because I'm never gonna understand that. Um Okay. This is suggest to everything because when I release the video for the artifact weapons, I say this is interpretation for MMO champion. The talent before was from Warhead, this is for MMO Champion, I like more of the MMO Champion style for this time of stuff. Uh, some things, they are not that way, for example, they say 2 second cooldown, maybe that if something is going wrong in the data mine or glitches or stuff like the numbers, yeah, maybe it's instant and yeah. Send your war glaive. This is the first talent you have with the the artifact weapon is the twin blades of the deceiver. Twin blades of the deceiver. Oh, somebody text me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> somebody text me on the on the cell phone. 
Ah, okay, cell phone. That is so much better than that. Okay. Send your wave spinning rapidly around your location. That means it's gonna spin around you, I hope, uh, for the next 3 seconds, dealing a person with physical weapon of damage. Damage to any enemy that come in contact. It's gonna be the world like spinning around you, maybe, or in your location, because say your location for the next three seconds. But yes, maybe it's around you. I don't know. The next talent, we got talent there, right there. You're gonna unlock different talents for the artifact. You have balance glaive. Drone glaive can bounce additional targets. Oh, you remember when I say the talent that reduced the cooldown of your glaive, drone glaive, in two seconds? Well, one extra bounce, that means it's gonna be three additional targets. They're gonna be six seconds. Six seconds? Four, uh, four targets, gonna be the first target, plus the three ricochets. It's gonna be eight seconds. Every two second master of the glade or glade draw is gonna be used as you hit all the time in all the situations. It's gonna be awesome the hour of the demo hunter. It's gonna be awesome. Plus the furious illitary is gonna be awesome. The severe fury, dodging attacks or spells generate 10 of fury, that means when you're in blue, you're gonna have more fury for dodging. And in normal aspect, when you're in melee, if you're not in blue, you're gonna have more fury. The maximum save 20 fury. Remember the number I suggest to shame. Mulish demons. Reduce the cooldown of your metamorphosis. Say zero second, I don't know. Demon speed. Ferrous have no cooldown when you are in blur. Okay, that is extremely good. That means you can proc your blur and pick the flag and rush, 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 rush. Only for 3 seconds. Remember, if you don't hit anybody with a mini strike, you're not gonna continue having the blur. Magic damage taken is reduced by a person, illiterate knowledge. When I see this, some classes, like, I don't remember, I think it was the Warrior Fury, the Paladin Dread, um, the DK, I don't remember what the K is right now, have reduction of all damage. Uh, yes, it's a lot, but the Demon Hunter is only versus magical damage. The Demon Hunter is, is very good against Copters, have a lot of school against Copters, it's extremely good. When Fury, Rage of Illidari, when Fury is Illidari, that spell right here, ends, do 100% of the damage deal uh, in a eruption of spell energy, and split between all enemies. That thing is, in a way situation, you use your Fury of Illidari, you're gonna do a lot of damage, and plus, when the end, you're gonna do more damage. Yeah, basically, it's that, a delay burst. But it's gonna splint it. In PvP it's gonna be good too because it is, this is around you, it's gonna move around you and you're moving. You're gonna use this, get close to your target, stay close to the target on once and three seconds later it's gonna have the burst to all one target. It's gonna be very good. Very, very good. Let's stay so for talent. Contain a fury, increase your maximum of fury. Okay, you must must auction to burst. In PvE, the scenario is, is not gonna be much different, but it's gonna change a little. It's like more fury, you're gonna spend more fury. It's best this down. Demobite do additional damage. I don't know how this talent is gonna work when you replace the Demobite. It's gonna work with the talent. Maybe, I don't know. Anguish of the Deceiver. X time you use I beam and this deal damage to a target. You case you cause angles on that target. 
when angles expire, they'll do damage basic in how many times is that up. That means you're gonna use your Ivan skill and it's gonna apply a, a debuff who's not doing damage himself. But when it expires, it's gonna do some damage when it expires. And the number of stacks have it. It's the only thing. It, another delay burst is awesome. Why is awesome the delay burst? Because it's good in PvE and it's good in PvP. Why is good in PvE? Well, because you can set up this delay burst in a phase that you need to do a lot of damage. And you're gonna stun ramp up all this damage. And see that, it's I-beam. That means every time you use your I-beam and you increase the duration of your I-beam, it's gonna be more damage. And when finish the effect, it's, you're not gonna lose DPS, it's gonna be more steady because you are doing DPS during the fight and the delay burst DPS is gonna kick you up in the same DPS bracket. And yeah, that is the idea. In PvP, because that is gonna set up a very good DPS sustain. And surprise! Charles Vision increases damage of IB. It's like that, IB and more damage. Consum uh, Fest of Soul. Consuming a soul fragment reduces the cooldown, all cooldowns in some seconds. Maybe it's gonna be 10 seconds or 15 seconds. I think it's gonna be 20 seconds. I think... no, 20 seconds is too much. Uh, I think it's gonna be 1 to 2 seconds. At most. You're gonna say, oh, every time we kill a target, we're gonna have the soul fragment. A chance to have a, a soul fragment. And chance to reduce the cooldown. But this is stupid. Gonna, some people are gonna say in PvE. But really not. Because you need to read all this stuff. Drone Glaive increase the damage. Okay, Drone Glaive increase damage. Critical critical shells. Shell strike, critical strike sh damage is increased. The critical strike damage is the shell strike is increases. Overwhelming power. When your shells nova is to a target, you have a 20 percent chance that soul fragment is generated. Okay. Your, your, your stun is gonna work around the first of soul and you're gonna reduce the cooldown of everything. It's a chance, 20% chance without killing anybody. It's just using a skill. That is very very good. And uh, another aspect about this is a lot of stalling are missing and I think a lot of spell too. The demo hunter is in the what is called the developing steps. It's, they are not all the skills are ready. They are ideas, but not all the skills are ready. But they're gonna be in some time and a lot of this is very very old in comparison with some stuff they are saying. Some of this is stuff maybe it never exists right now. It's but that is the data mine. Uh, and this last one, Inner Demon. I like this. It's not a demo form. It's when your child strike a target, you have a chance to list your Inner Demon. Like Lotharas, the blind in Serpent Cover, that sometimes the demo freaking stuff is go away, causing an image of your demo form to crash down into your enemy, dealing damage to all enemies nearby. That means is your basic spender is gonna have a chance of summon an extra hit, but super cool animation. Your inner demon is gonna come a uh, hit or something like that. That is pretty pretty cool, pretty pretty cool, pretty pretty cool. I like it. I like the idea. And yes, we have a lot of minutes in video so long, but I'm excited about the Devil Hunter because it's different. When you think about all fantasy games and you try to figure out where is the place of the Devil Hunter, you have the Decay. The case is unique for World of Warcraft. No, it's the same as the Dark Knight or another fantasy game. It's a Dark Knight, Deck Knight. Another game half deck knife. 
but Demon Hunters. That use later. They have Demo Lords, Doom Lords, but they using heavy armor to handle weapon. But Demon Hunter using dual weaving and that semi transport in demons using letters. And yeah. It's different. This is a unique, unique, very unique. Because the monkeys are not just style, very different. The monk is different, it's weaponless and not have nothing about with demons or stuff. Basically this all my video for the demo hunter one. I'm gonna add in more information for the demo hunter. I'm not gonna speak about the artifact weapon for this demo hunter three two blade of the deceiver. Or maybe I, I gonna do it, I don't know. But I'm gonna do it in a separate video of the story of the artifact uh, because it's pretty long this video. I hope you enjoy and see you next time here. Remember subscribe, comment and follow my another videos for more World of Warcraft. Thanks for watching and see you the next time here in Azeroth.